So Bob, KD4, BMG, HOA Ham, I'm here at Flex Radio. I've walked past this booth several times already today. I'm mesmerized at the beauty of what I see, and I've stopped and asked, you know, what's the functionality that kind of matches the, the beauty of these radios? So yep. we're going to let the expert tell us. Yeah, thank you very much for uh, coming over to us and uh, checking out our beauty. Uh, basically, this is a, um, a software-defined radio. Um, what you used to have, if you wanted to add a filter or some functionality to the radio, you had to open up the radio and change everything inside. If you want to add a crystal filter, you had to add a crystal filter. Um, no more of that. If you really want to now, all you have to do is download the program. You download up every once in a while, at quarterly usually. We come up with a new program, and you just download the program, and you change the functionality of the radio. You don't have to go in and solder or do any of that other stuff that we used to do back in the day. Um, additionally, our radios are very, here's the word, Bob, flexible. Okay. <laughs> we, can, we can do a whole bunch of things with our radio where, in the old days, you used to have to wire those little DIN plugs to go uh, to audio outputs and things like that. Here, all we do is tell the radio to go to a specific port, then in the application program, we tell the application program to listen to that port. Mm. Everything is done seamlessly. There's no wiring. Everything happens through the internet cable behind it, the ethernet cable behind it. So there's no, um, if you have a conglomeration of wires and plugs and a, a sundry, um, different auxiliary equipment, uh, you can take that all out. You don't need that anymore. Additionally, uh, one of the major uh, advantages of, of a flex radio, especially the, uh, uh, the software-defined flex radio, is that uh, for the CAT program, a lot of people have problems with CAT uh, ports, where you try and hook, have multiple uh, applications hooked up to your radio at the same time. For instance, if you want to do rotor control, or you want to do FT8, or you want to do WSJT or JTDX, you would have COM port conflicts in most of the other radios. You can only set up a certain amount of COM ports. In ours, what we have is what we call smart cat, where we can put multiple uh, cat ports up, and we don't have any COM port conflicts. So all of these programs will work seamlessly with the Flex. For instance, at home, I'll be running multiple instances of WSJT, JTDX, MMTTY, uh, two-tone, you name the application program, and there's no wiring of COM ports, there's no plugging COM ports in, it's all done through the internet. That's what makes our radios extremely easy to use. Now, you say, well, it's a software-defined radio, you know, do you have a lot of uh, menu behind it? Not really. Most of the, what you see in front of the radio can be controlled right from the front of the radio. You don't have to go into heavy menus. For instance, if I want to change something here, I can just go in and here's my entire menu system right there in front of me. All I have to do is select what I want to do. If I want to look at my radio settings, if I want to look at the functions, I can set up different function keys off the front of the radio, hit that function key and it'll send CW, it'll put it into split, Anything you really want to do, it's all software defined. It's very easy to find. Uh, if I want to change transverters, if I want to do some, uh, some high gig stuff, UHF, VHF stuff, I can change it all from the front of the panel of the radio. Uh, USB cables, we have what they call USB cables that are pseudo USB cables that plug into the back of the radio. That'll control your amplifiers, control your step IR um, antennas, It'll control just about any amplifier, by the way. It'll control Elecraft, Yesu, uh, our amplifiers. So the radio can control everything right from the front panel. You can turn the radio, the amplifiers on, off, and uh, key, I'm sorry, keying of the amplifiers can be turned on and off by the front panel of the radio. So there's really no deep menu that you've got to go through to optimize the radio. It's all in front of you. Uh, as far as this radio is concerned, this is a 6600M, which will give you four pan adapters. The ability to monitor four different bands at the same time, or have four different receivers on the same wow. band. Okay? This radio in particular, because it's got four different pan adapters, the local radio, one with the front panel, can use two of those pan adapters, 
and then you can have two of your friends, you give them the username and password, and they can be receiving off the same radio at the same time. So three people can be using that radio at the same time, which is kind of amazing. I think that's kind of a differentiator of Flex from some of the other radios. Uh, some of the other radios, yes, you can do remotely, but I don't think there's any that can do multiple clients at the same time. Okay. With this radio, you can. Got it. Um, screens are incredibly one. vibrant. So is there some differentiator in the screens on the equipment itself? Yeah, we use the, uh, uh, I can't remember the exact acronym, but it's the high definition screen on the front. Okay. Um, obviously the monitor is just an HDMI output out of the back of the radio. Okay. But the uh, screens itself are very high definition screen. And okay. they're all touch screens. I mean, if I want to change the band spread, I can change the band spread by just, just doing this. <laughs> If I see okay. a signal down here that I want to get to, all I do is touch on it in the morning. Sorry for laughing, event. it's not funny, I'm giddy. It's, it's just amazing it, it what, what amazing. it can do. Yeah. There's innumerable things you can do with this radio that I have not been able to do with other radios. Okay. And I used to represent another radio manufacturer that I've never been able to do with this radio. Okay. Um, I have another question for you. Sure, go so ahead. So I man. walk past this and I think of my I'm dating myself, my, my younger days as a young boy sitting in front of our Atari with a single button joystick. And Atari now, 2600. What, what is this? Atari 2600, <laughs> I remember. What is this? What is this wonderful uh, this, contraption? This is a wireless uh, control head. Okay. Basically, uh, right now it's just hooked up to DC in the back, but normally you, you would have a, uh, a power supply uh, okay. in the back. You'd have a uh, battery. Okay. And you can take that and sit on your easy chair in the living room and have your rig someplace else, and you can sit there and tune your rig. So is it to, is it connected to this rig now wirelessly, or is that another rig somewhere? Is this a simulation? No, this this is not a simulation. Okay. This is another rig that we're, we're monitoring. That's outside of here. It's not looking at So this is monitoring something external to this building? Yes. Let me see if I can find which one it's uh, monitoring. Radio, come on radio. Okay, um, right now we're in, uh, this is monitoring Austin, Texas, WA5QPZ. Okay. Okay, so we're in, what you're sitting here is you're reading what is actually happening in Texas. Okay. Okay, and if I want to open up and see what he's seeing, I can do that. If I want to change the different, uh, different modes, I can change the different modes just by touch screen, digital upper, digital lower, etc. Now when you're changing modes, that's going to change his, on his, his, equipment. his equipment. When you were expanding your screen, did that do anything on his screen? Yes, it does. Okay. Yeah. Unless I am the second user. If I'm okay. the second user of his machine, he doesn't see that. Okay. He only sees what he's, he's So there'll be like a primary and a secondary. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And again, you can do everything with this that you can do with the radio that has it built in the front. Okay. The difference is this one's mobile. When we, WRTC in 2018, I went to Germany to be the flex support for WRTC. And the guys in WRTC go off on a 24-hour, you know, remote expedition. Right. And they can't talk to anyone. Right, they can make as many contacts. I got bored. I mean, I seriously got very bored. But I had my maestro with me. I took it back to the hotel room, hooked it up to the hotel Wi-Fi, and I sat there with my CW key and was working my station back in North Carolina. Okay. So there's Germany to North Carolina. Gotcha. So that's kind of what that one's all for. All right. Ready? Well, I can tell you could go on oh, and sure on can. and on. Oh, I can. Uh, this is my first conversation with anybody about a flex radio and I'm glad that I stopped by. I want to thank you very much okay. for your nice time. Nice meeting you. All right, nice to meet you as well.